Welcome back to the Mysteries in Depth. Today we will be playing The Great Library, which is a fan favorite for several people. We will be returning to Covenant where the mission Homecoming and Myth the Fallen Lords took place. The journal for this mission occurs six days after Beyond the Cloudspine, so the soldiers have been able to rest for a short bit. Tuesday, September 23rd, Madrigal. Word was sent to King Ulrich within moments of our arrival through the World Knot, and before an hour had passed, we were brought before the throne. King Ulric listened intently as Garrick recounted the events leading up to our arrival in Madrigal. As soon as Garrick was done, King Ulric ordered the Seventh Legion through the World Knot to Scales. They have been instructed to seek out Soulblighter's army and destroy it now, before it grows any larger. King Ulrich is convinced that Soulblighter is searching for a man known as the Summoner. He says that the birth of a man who would resurrect the Meocridia and visit horrors on the world without equal in history or myth had been foretold in an ancient tome called the Total Codex. All that we know of the Meocridia comes from old songs and half-forgotten legends. They are full of horrifying tales of whole armies being devoured and entire cities being erased from the world. They were eventually defeated by the hero, Connaught, who imprisoned them in a powerful artifact called the Tain. King Ulric says we must travel through the world not to Covenant and retrieve the Total Codex from the newly rebuilt library. He says that with the Codex we may be able to find the Summoner before Soulblighter can. According to the journal, a similar expedition was undertaken during the Great War. It seems ironic that 60 years later, we will be going through the same world knot to retrieve the Codex once again. There is a journal image showing Garrick telling Ulrich all about the events in the prior missions and their encounter with Soulblighter. Ulrich looks like he is contemplating the events that have occurred thus far. Ulrich sends the Seventh Legion through the world knot to scales to fight against Soulblighter's army before they can grow any stronger. There is a journal image showing a group going through the World Knot. The Seventh Legion is a separate group from the one that we have been following, and they are led by Baldun. The game doesn't tell us much more about this group, but we will hear more about them in a later mission called The Wall. A big part of the reason that Ulrich wants to stop Soulblader as quick as possible is because he read about the Summoner resurrecting the Macridia in the Total Codex. If they can stop Soulblader from finding the Summoner, they can stop the Mercridia from coming into the world. There is a journal image showing the Total Codex. If you have forgotten, the Total Codex is a magical book of immense power in which the fate of every creature that has ever been born is written. The Mythophon Lord's journal tells us that the Mythophon Lord's narrator read about the coming of the Mercridia in the Total Codex. Against my better judgment, I opened the Codex last night to a random page and read about the life of a man not yet born, who would resurrect the Macridia and visit horrors on the world without equal in history or myth. I believed every word. I have resolved to destroy the thing before allowing it to become an instrument of the dark. The journal shows an image of the Tain, which is a magical device that Connacht had trapped the Macridia inside. If the summoner is to bring back the Macridia, Soulblighter will also need the pieces of the Tain that shattered during the Great War in Myth the Fallen Lords. The Total Codex is within Covenant in the newly built library. If you compare the map and the mission to the one in Homecoming from Myth the Fallen Lords, you can actually see that they line up together. The structure at the beginning of Homecoming that looks sort of like an amphitheater is next to the World Knot but the map extends in the opposite direction from the amphitheater, or whatever you want to call it. Things don't match exactly though, and perhaps this is because things have been rebuilt in the last 60 years. This is the first mission in Myth 2 Soulblighter that features the fetch. If you want to know more about them, I covered them in the mission Silver Mines in Myth the Fallen Lords. The fetch have been trapped in the world of Myth since the death of Balor, with no way to return back to their homeland. You see, Balor was the one who summoned them into the world to aid him, and he pledged to return them home, but he can't do that now since he is dead. They serve Soulblighter because he promised to return them home in return for their services. There is a flavor text explaining this. 
Not native to our world, it is said that they fight for Soulblighter in hopes that he will honor Balor's pledge to send them home. Being stranded in our world has only served to fuel their hatred of us. Now let's jump into the mission. Guard the library entrance until the journeyman comes back out with the total codex. Escape through the world knot with the journeyman. Now when you start the miss this mission, you see a bunch of goals and fetch, thralls, and white whites coming into the great library. Well, the great library is down here. They're coming into Covenant um, to keep you from getting the total codex. We came through a world knot that's like over here. And here's a quick dialogue with the guy. Wait here. I'll be out with the codex as soon as I find it. Protect the entrance until I return. Now when he says protect the entrance, we actually have to protect this area. Get my hockeys. If all your units go outside of the bottom of the stairs, which is kind of like this line right here, um, then you will lose the mission. So you gotta kind of stay in this um, area. There's five waves that will come. We'll have to deal with each one. And they are in random yeah. order. So yeah. you don't know I which one we're gonna get. So I'll save it right here to start off. This level is... It's not... It's kind of hard to get no casualties. I'll just say that. So this group, we're getting a bunch of goals. Um, one of these groups spawns in a bunch of whites yeah. and if we get that one which, I, which is this one this is the one that spawns in all the whites okay. so if you get that one earlier then it's technically a little bit harder because you got to deal with whites wait maybe this isn't it because I don't see the whites am I thinking of a different one maybe I'm thinking of a different one but anyways we got to deal with these uh, all these fetch coming out and with our vetted archers, these fetch are no problemo. If they actually shoot them. If they shoot them, then they're no problem. Just because their accuracy is so much better. Okay. Yeah, there's the whites. Yeah, I wasn't. I was just, um. Being, being a little crazy. So we gotta worry about these. We can. We kind of want the. We don't want to like come out too far, which I'm probably too far. I'm probably too far forward. That's fine. Deal with him. Yeah, these archers are so nice. And then we'll take care of this uh, dumb dwarf. It's the fetch. And we got a few more goals coming. Yeah. And then that's pretty much it for that group. What now? However, nice. So I'm gonna, I want to come down to this yeah. corner because. After that group, I think it's every time, as you start having um, goals coming from all over the place. Um, I think this is technically a wave. Like, here we go. And some of these goals, like, they'll come from both sides. So if we're, like, in the middle, they're going to hit us at the same time. Whereas if we're off to the side like we are, we'll be able to deal with one group, turn around, deal with the other group. And so a lot of these goals have plus packets, so we really need to kill them with our doors. Because, you know, if we kill them with our berserks, we'll take a bunch of damage. And then we gotta worry about these uh, whites coming up. Like these whites coming up like this. I'm moving. I'm moving. Stand here. You like to do that. Okay. So I'll save it fairly often here just because it's so easy for a, a, plus, a plus packet to kick your ass. And 
here comes some from behind me. Are you moving? Yes, sir. Move over. Yes, thank you. Yeah, these archers are so nice. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea how much nicer it is to have these vetted bowmen. They can kill these goals way better. Yeah, there's definitely more goals. There's a, there's a lot of goals you got to deal with here. There's several groups. We gotta keep our eyes peeled. There's some coming from over there. Over here. So we yeah. keep rotating our units. Yes, there we go. Looks like there's some coming from here and up here. So, oh, and there's some right there already. Okay. Yes. I'm moving. I have to keep an eye on these whites from behind. Some goals coming from over here. We hope these guys don't have pus. Some of the some of the um, golds don't have pus, yes. but there isn't really a way to tell which ones do and which ones don't. And I haven't gone through and checked how many other groups have a pus. I try to get him to stop. I can get him to stop in time. Let's go. Shot my own units. Is that all of them? That might be all the gold groups. Yes. Mic up your mind. Let's go. It's probably best for us just to stay in this corner. Well, unless this group comes up here. There's one group that comes up here. So maybe yes, let's go sir. to the middle. I'm moving. Let's go. Depending on which group we want, we yes, get, sir. we'll want to move differently. And now, because we got all these whites out, we gotta worry about you know whites coming up behind us while we're fighting off enemies. Which they're kind of hard to keep track of because on the map, with the newer resolutions, the squares get the red dots are so small that they're so hard to see. Okay, so now we're getting this group. There's going to be a group of Thoral coming down this road, and from over here, they're going to come like up these steps over here. And then after we mostly kill them, these goals are going to come, and then shortly after the fetch. And so we kind of have to deal with all that. So what I like to do is I like to come over here. Over here. Mic up your yeah. And then we can kind of deal with this group of thrall, and then the other group of thrall, and then the goals and the fetch. Kind of try to isolate them. Okay. By our positioning. Yeah. I don't think there is a white down here, so he's probably going to come up at some point during this, and we'll have to we'll have Are to keep moving? an eye on him. Move here, move there. Yeah. 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 Cash. Just 
just keep an eye on this fetch and we'll be fine. Looks like some of these thrall are looking to come around here. The corner. We'll just deal with them with our berserks. We'll deal with this white and then that white. Here comes the here comes the thrall. These goals. Okay, so we just gotta make stop our archers. Bring back our bring back our reserves and then deal with these fetch. This fetch usually comes up first, so we're gonna kill him first. He's the first threat. Come on, shoot him down. So if you don't know, if your arrows are in the air and they shoot lightning, it'll take all your arrows out of the air. And so you kinda need to kill him before he can even get one, start to do one blast. Okay, let's see what. I think we are probably gonna need to go into this corner over here for no matter which group we got next. Okay, okay, so I see what group we're getting next. Um, I'll explain it. It's pretty much gonna be our archers doing everything in this group. So there's going to be, these soulless won't bother you unless you come over here, so that's why I stay far back on the other side. There's going to be some goals we got to deal with, and then there'll be a bunch of fetch and whites, and the whites will charge you, and they will not, they don't like these other whites where they kind of hide, they'll come at you, so. I'm moving. So we want to quickly deal with these goals. We'll finish them off with our, our berserks. And then we're going to send our archers forward to deal with all these fetch and whites that are charging. So sometimes they'll kind of clump together and you can kill the fetch by killing the whites. Obviously the fetch are the bigger threat, so make sure you kill them. See, like right here, you just kind of clump together. I might be able to get, you know, free kill. Where's this white behind me? Oh, I think the, I think the, <laughs> I think the berserk or the dwarves got him. Okay, now these Solus will leave. So that's that group. Um, I think the last group comes from the front. I think there's only one more group left. We're gonna have to deal with some some gold, some some thrall, and some Solus. If I'm, if the only yeah, I think this is all that's left. So at first it looks like just thrall and Solus. Then these goals come up. So. Which we can kind of yeah. just kill them with our berserks. Okay. But if we don't have to, we won't. We'll do it. Let's go. 
Alright, here comes a thrall. And then we're gonna get some more goals coming too. After we take care of these thrall, or most of them. So I'm kind of running back because I'm trying to create some distance between these these goals and these swords. Something you might not know is that you can actually use fire arrows in this level. They don't. <laughs> it's surprising, but they'll actually will burn on this ground. Okay. Yes, sir. Doesn't uh, really make sense, but moving. Ready. I'm moving. Ready. We can shoot a few more fire arrows. You can also just send your berserks in and kill them if you want. Especially since this is the last group, because I, this isn't always the last group, but since it is my last group, at least I'm pretty sure I'll get my journeyman afterwards. So I can heal any units, but really, I did really well, and my units are not really hurt. Now quickly, to the world, not new units received. We're just gonna bring them in with our. Over here. I'm moving. Okay. Yes. Now, okay. So there's some goals and some soulless that will protect this world not. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take out the ghouls first. We're going to try to bait them forward. This is kind of like about the right spot. I'm moving. Yeah. I'm moving. And then they're going to come into fire range and hopefully we can get our dwarves to hit them. I'm moving. Burn. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. I will kill. Yes. Yes. We'll do it. Yes. Sir. Yeah, we'll just let our. We'll do it. Yes. Our um, berserks run them down. And then that's a mission. Well, now we can go into the world Perfect. map. Everyone into the knot. Now there's a bunch of units that appear on the map. Will start charging you once you're doing this. We might see some of them start to come. And well, let's leave one unit kind of out so we can see all the units coming. Right away. As you can see all these units. There's a lot of them. You can see them all. There's so many. And then they'll start cheering once the. Once I don't know why they cheer. I guess they're angry, so they do that little last animation. So. But that's 
that actually went really well. We can usually lose some guys in that mission because of the plus back. It's and just there's just a lot of stuff coming at you that you gotta deal with at the same time. So, but you know you kind of pos um, position your guys right for each battle, and you'll do fine. The windscreen shows the journeyman holding the total codex along with the berserk and dwarf disappearing into the world not. We can see some thrall and a goal in the background that were not able to reach us in time. Just like the last mission, I am not sure why they were not able to follow us through the world not. The live screen shows the journeyman dead on the ground holding a shovel. The total codex is lying next to him. The goals and thrall got the best of the legion. The library in the background is burning. There is a statue of Alric in the mission holding up the Eblis stone that he used to defeat Balor. This happened in the mission The Last Battle and Met the Fallen Lords. The statue says Rhea Known on it, which is the Trow city where this occurred. When you look at the letters on the bottom, you might think it is all Roman numerals, but this is only partially true and Bungie is playing with us. It actually says July 21st, which is the date of the journal for the mission the last battle. If you zoom close enough to see inside the great library, you will see a picture of the bungee crew that we saw in the opening cutscene for the bonus mission, A Long Awaited Party, where we shot down all the explosive deer. You can go back to that video if you want to know a little bit about all the bungee employees in this image. There are several random things that your units might say during the mission while they are waiting for the journeyman to come back out of the library. So, exactly how big is this library? Well, I guess they don't call it the Great Library for nothing. My cousin Huey would have been back with it by now. It'd be just our luck if someone already had it checked out! If you look at the map in Loathing, you can actually see the total codex in the back of the library. If you kill all the units who attack at the end when you are supposed to go into the world not, you will notice that there are actually some goals that get stuck in the northeast corner of the map. I know this because I may have successfully killed everything. Well that is it for this mission. In the next mission, Gate of Storms, we will get to control Alric and face the Macridian Horde that we failed to stop from coming forth. See all of you wonderful people next time. Over. <laughs> 